we're talking about healthy St. Yeah. Pete. And that includes local sourcing of local fish. Yep, and to tell us more and to prepare a healthy dish is also Chef Kenny Tufo from Sea Salt. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year, Welcome. guys. Happy, happy New us. Year. Happy Healthy New Year. I know, happy right? We were, we were starting First. the new year. Three years getting healthier every day with new champions coming on board. It's great. And getting to talk with you a little bit, Chef, this was kind of a no-brainer for you when you decided to become involved with Healthy St. Yeah, Why we're excited. That? We're excited to be a part of it because it's seamless to what we do at the restaurant um, as a chef. Local is always best, so we try to use local ingredients, local fish, um, simple, healthy ingredients that go well together, and uh, it just works really well. And that really is what the campaign is, is making sure that St. Pete and then maybe others in the Bay Area will follow suit as well, which is providing healthier, tastier options. That's right, creating a culture of health where we live, eat, shop, and play healthy. I love the it. choices are easy and right at hand. I think you're going to help us figure out a way to do that. Beautiful yeah, red snapper here. This bad boy? So this is a great <laughs> local fish. Um, you know, Sea Salt is a, a seafood restaurant. Um, right when you enter our restaurant, one of the first things you'll see is this ginormous seafood case uh, where we get fresh fish brought in every single day. Is this average size of these guys, or is this like um, That's like about a 10, 12 pounder. That fish will feed about uh, 10 people. Uh, we'll yeah. cook it whole for you right at the restaurant, oh, present my. it table side, and you can have it if you can get 10 people all to eat the same thing. Like well, a family meal, isn't yeah, that awesome? Exactly. It, and it's quite the conversation piece as well. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to make some red snapper with this beautiful black kale. Um, this is called also called uh, Tuscan kale. Um, you guys all know the kale craze and how healthy it is uh -huh. for you. Carla um, keeps telling me about I it. Know. My husband grows kale. Uh, we have some grapes, <laughs> just some basic red seedless grapes, and we have some artichokes. And we're just going to make a little saute with all of those vegetables and a truffle vinaigrette to round the whole thing off. Sounds so I'll easy. Now let's get started before we run out of time because we right. need to try this. So first off, I'm going to have you pick the kale. Okay. You I'll ready? see it right there. Yeah. You go. Right down the end here. <laughs> and just take it right off the stem and tear it up like that. Okay. So I'm doing it with both of okay. these. Okay. I'm going to have you uh -oh. come in here, and you're going to just cut some grapes right in half. <gasps> I was going to say, Chef, you, uh, I just can tell like you're new that. to the show because you would know better just than like me in charge of the knife here. I'm just telling and you. And I'm going to start off with our fish in the pan. Is it okay to leave this? Or do you uh, want you that want off? to take that okay. off. Okay. Just take the leafy part. And we're going to actually cook these grapes. So we're starting off with a little olive oil in the pan, nice hot saute pan. And uh, whenever you're cooking a piece of fish, you always want to start with a nice hot pan, a and you want to go skin side down. Skin side down hot you pan. Want to lay the filet away from you so the oil doesn't splash at you. And we're going to go skin side down right into about a 450 degree oven. Okay. So he starts it in the pan and then he puts it in the oven. All right. Is this enough? So or am I say, doing all of this? Huh? That's it. That's okay. good. How, how, am I, how am I doing on the Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Is that enough? That's good. Now, are you ready for You're artichokes? Right yeah, yeah. You're on artichokes. All right. I love okay. it. He puts us all to work. So. Look at all the flavors that we are have in. these no. beautiful globe artichokes. And at home, you can just buy like artichoke hearts. We're going to quarter those. We're going right, to just though? quarter them just like that. Yep. And I'm going to start with a little bit more olive oil in this pan. Do you cook a lot at home? I do. I definitely cook. I try to lead by example and teach my children mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, give them skills they can use for the rest of their lives. You have so many great restaurants, Dad. It's insane. awesome. I'd be out enjoying yeah, the I restaurant. Know, right? So good for you to be <laughs> able to do both and balance that. Every chef we've approached about making sure they include healthy options that are easy choices in their menu have said enthusiastically yes. Well, because that's what people right. are wanting. I mean, do you, right. do you see that? Okay. Now we're, so, now we're getting ready kale, for the part. Some grapes. Some artichokes. I could stop right there. I know. I have not you seen know? that combination. That's pretty cool. I'm all about the grapes, too. That's a nice little. will cook up pretty small, too. Okay. Cook down. And, and Kamika, you know. while he's uh, frying that bad boy up, you know, you brought up that this is the third year. What do we expect in 2018 for Healthy St. Pete? We're going to really focus on community engagement and making healthy options and choices right at people's reach and fingertips, whether it's adding new classes in addition to all of the uh, kind of traditional classes that you think of. We're getting into new things where parents can do them with their kids. Uh, we're adding cooking classes and just really trying to connect all of the dots. Because it's people. a lifestyle. You, you know, exactly it's nice right. to be able to go to a restaurant and get this, but then when you can go at home and do something similar, I don't know if it's going to be as good as the, the professional. <laughs> exactly so. right. The first step was creating the need and creating the culture, yeah. and now we're helping to make the practice easy. Yeah. Well, okay. chefs, chefs, I think, all ready right. for the final product here. And all right. Now, Dun, dun, dun. I feel like we need a drum roll. I will say, speaking of classes, I don't know, Chef Kenny does a pretty good job of explaining things here, Kanika. You might have to add him to the class I roster. Think so. it, it, he offers we're classes. Actually, we're doing, this, we're doing this dish uh, this weekend at Sea Salt. 
Uh, I'm showing people how to cook oh, this exact dish. Now you can see I cooked that what we call unilaterally, almost all the way on one side and it gets that really good sear on the skin. And, oh, uh, that looks good. And all now right, we have about 30 I'm seconds left. A little think we bit can of butter. Let's get it plated. A little bit of time. <laughs> Always the crunch at the end. Lemon. Get it ready. Perfect. And we can make this at home, don't you think? I, th I do. It's easy. If you had it in a restaurant, it would seem like yeah. impossible, but seeing how it's prepared, it's mm -hmm. absolutely feasible. Mm -hmm. All right. And once Delicious. again, be sure, go visit downtown St. Pete, some of the fabulous restaurants, including Chef Kenny. Of course, it's Sea Salt. Kanika, I hope you are coming back as well as this initiative continues to grow. I love to be here. Thank yeah. you guys for having us. All right, again, happy Thank new you. year. We'll see you again yeah, soon. Happy We're going to dive year. in as we go into break.